happy and great day dear children we are going to see the topic gopal and the hilsa fish right first we will see the summary it was a season for hilsa fish and it was hilsa that everyone was talking about in the market fishmongers were selling only hilsa fish luring customers to buy it even in the royal court courtiers were talking about hilsa this made the king lose his temper he believed that no one could stop the people from talking about hilsa fish not even gopal who was the wisest man in his court the king challenged gopal to buy a huge hilsa fish and bring it to the palace without anyone asking him about it gopal accepted the challenge after a few days gopal shaved beard from face half of his face and smeared ash on himself he wore rags and looked disgraceful his wife was shocked and asked him not to leave home like this but gopal kept on telling her that he was going to buy a huge hilsa fish she thought gopal had gone mad at the market gopal bought a huge hilsa fish and started walking towards the palace no one noticed the fish but everyone was looking at gopal walking strangely with his shabby clothes people called him mystic and mad he went to meet the king but was stopped by the gods he started dancing and singing loudly in front of the royal palace the king ordered his gods to produce the man before him everyone in the court was shocked seeing gopal dressed up like a mad the king questioned gopal about the reason for his weird attire gopal reminded the king about the challenge and told him that from the market to the royal palace no one had asked him a single word about the hilsa fish the king burst into laughter and accepted that gopal had done the impossible once more so that's the end of summary now we'll go into the answer the following question first question is why did the king want no more talk about the hilsa fish the king was fed of talks of hilsa fish it was the season of hilsa fish and everyone was busy in talking for uh, talking of it moreover he did not want his courtier to waste the time in these talks second question is what did the king ask gopal to do uh, to prove that he was clever the king asked gopal to buy a hilsa fish and bring it to the palace without anyone asking anything about the fish throughout the day to prove that he was clever third question what three things did gopal do before he went to buy his hilsa fish gopal half shaved his beard smeared himself with ash and wore disgraceful rags before he went to buy his hilsa fish fourth question is how did gopal get inside the palace to see the king after he had bought the fish when gopal asked the gods to let him meet the king they refused therefore he began to dance and sing loudly on hearing his loud song the king sent his messenger to call him in the court fifth question is explain why no one seemed to be interested in talking about the hilsa fish which gopal had bought gopal's funny appearance attracted the attention of people much more than the hilsa fish at that time no one was caring about the hilsa fish he was carrying everyone was busy in talking about his mad appearance half shaved face and rags Sixth question is right, true or false against each of the following sentence. First question is the king lost his temper easily. Yes, it is true. Gopal was a madman. False. Gopal was a clever man. Yes, true. 
Gopal was too poor to offer decent cloth falls. The king got angry when he was shown to be wrong. False. Now working with language, notice how in a comic book there are no speech marks when characters talk. Instead, what they say is put in a speech bubble. However, if we wish to report or repeat what they say, we must put into reported speech. Now you have to change the following sentence in, in the story to reported speech. How much did you pay for that hilsa? Is a question. The women asked the man how much he had paid for that hilsa. Next is why is your face half shaven? Gopal's wife asked him why was his face half shaven? I accept the challenge your majesty. Gopal told the king that he accepted his challenge. I want to see the king. Gopal told the gods that he wanted to see the king. Fifth question is bring the man to me at once. The king ordered the god to bring the man to him at once. Now find out the meaning of the following words by looking them up in the dictionary. Then use them in sentences of your own. First you have to ch uh, check the spelling. Then you have to find the meaning. Then you have to use in a sentence. Challenge. The meaning is ask to contest or dare. Sentence. The boss challenged Rahul to finish his work before the time. Mystic, believing in spiritual power. Sentences, some people do believe in the mystic forces. Third is comical, funny is the meaning. Sentences, I like the comical act of the joker the most. Courtier, officials of the king's court. Sentence, Birbal was one of the clever courtier present in Akbar's court. Smearing, to apply coat or mark. He smears his face with ashes. Now picture reading. Look at the pictures and read the text aloud. Stag by the side of a pond. How beautiful my horns are. But my legs are so thin and ugly. Hunters, run for your life. Let me hide somewhere. These branches, oh no. They are too close. Get out of here. I was proud of my horns. They could have caused my death. I was ashamed of my legs. They saved me. Now, ask your partner questions about each picture. Where is the stag? Stag is by the side of the pond. What is he doing? He is looking at the reflection of his horns and legs in the water. Does he like his antlers, that is horns? Yes, he liked his antlers. Does he like his legs? No, he didn't like his legs. He, there is a mistake here. He didn't like, not like he didn't like his legs. Why is the stag running? The stag is running to save his life from the hunters. Is he able to hide in the bushes? No, he is not able to hide himself in the bushes. Where, where are the hunters now? The hunters were now beside to him. Beside him. Are they closing in, on the stag? Yes, they were close in on the stag. In on close in the stack. Is the stag free? Yes, the stag is free. What does the stag say about his horns and his legs? The stag said that he was proud of his horns, which could have caused his death, and was ashamed of his leg, which saved him. Write the story in your own words, give it a title. A stag was once drinking water at a pond. 
he saw his own reflection in water he admired his beautiful horns but he did not like his thin and ugly legs now the suitable uh, title of the story will be all that glitters is not gold suddenly he saw a group of hunters running towards him he ran into the jungle to save himself his legs soon carried him far from the hunters he then tried to hide himself in the bushes but his horns were caught into the bushes with his best efforts he was able to free himself now he realized that his ugly legs helped him in saving his life but his beautiful horns horns could have caused his death that's it now uh, it is a crossword ladder clues are given mother will be very uh, um, very dash if you don't go to school so what is it cross and the second one is sight third is tiny fourth is ear fifth one roof six is fuss and the seventh one is street uh so check the answers with the questions that's all thank you dear